Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the lecture introduction to WordPress. In this course, we are going to use WordPress 4.3 and it, this version has been released just three days back. So it is known as Billy and we are going to use 4.3. We are going to update our WordPress system with this version. So let's get started. So what is WordPress? WordPress is an open source web software. What I mean by which web software means you can use WordPress to create beautiful blog, website and all those things you want to do on the web. So it is basically an open source web software. You can say open, open source content management system that can use to create a beautiful website or blog. And since WordPress is free, we say it's both free and priceless at the same time. Why I'm saying free because it's an open source software. So anybody can use it and anybody can contribute to the WordPress development. And it is priceless because there are lots of plugins, lots of themes and you can use freely. You can use free of cost. You can create your website free of cost using WordPress and that's why it is free and priceless at the same time because it provides priceless customizations, priceless varieties, priceless things. So that's why it is free and priceless. I love WordPress and it is loved by all and that's why it is the most popular content management system now. It is far, far better than all other content management systems available in the web world. So we are going to use WordPress. So we should be knowing what is the history of WordPress. So little history about WordPress. WordPress started in year 2003 with a single bit of code to enhance the typography of everyday writing and publishing. So it was a aim to simplify the everyday writing and publishing on the web, writing blog posts or publishing your content on the web. So it was started with the motto with the aim to simplify the things that we can easily write and publish our thoughts, our articles. So and since then it has grown to be the largest self-hosted blogging tool in the world. Okay, so it is the largest self-hosted blogging tool content management system in the world. So you may ask why to use WordPress? Very good question. Anybody can ask. So if you are new to WordPress, I'll say I won't say anything. Actually, I'll show you this picture and look at this. Look at this graph. Around 48% of the blogs are running on WordPress platform and look at all other plat all other platforms and software. They are contributing all together 52% and WordPress alone 48% and that itself is saying why you should not use WordPress. Everybody should follow WordPress and everybody should use WordPress because it's a very popular very powerful and free. So 48% of the blogs are running on WordPress platform. And few more facts about WordPress. Currently 66 millions of websites running on WordPress. 66 millions of websites. It's a rough estimate. The actual number of websites are much more than this. And some popular websites are like CNN, TechCrunch, Forbes, Bata, Adobe Blocks, LA Times, MediaKit, WNBA, Malala Yousafzai, and many more. So you can see all the top most companies, tech companies, the people, they are using WordPress to for their website and for their blogs. And that's what makes WordPress stay ahead of all other content management systems and 17 new posts are published on WordPress platform each second every second 17 new posts are published on WordPress that's said much about the popularity of the WordPress tool and total 
37,559 plugins are available on the WordPress website that you can use for your web development for your website and most of them are free. So there are 37,559 plugins and each day these numbers are increasing. These numbers are increasing day by day and the WordPress plugins are very popular. You want to integrate social media into your website, you can use a plugin. You want to have a form, you can use a plugin. If you want to have a, your landing pages, you can use a plugin and you can easily create awesome landing pages for your website. So that's what and there are 51 translations available for WordPress so you cannot restrict your website to a single language called English there are 51 languages supported in WordPress so you can create a WordPress website you can translate it into the any language of your choice there are it is supported by 51 languages and these are the things these are the features makes WordPress out of the world and most popular so we are going to use this wordpress latest version 4.3 for this course and we are going to create awesome websites using that so we start with the basic of wordpress how we can install how we can uh, create a post pages basic website and then we move to create a beautiful business website personal website all those things so let's get started